Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico. In this video, you're going to learn how to use custom trigger using trigger conditions. For example, we already have here when an item is created or modified. We can change it, this trigger and check if this, it, this item have a certain value. For that, we can insert a trigger condition. To make more clear, let's create a, a flow here. And in this flow, I want to check if an item is modified and don't trigger that flow when the item is created. So flow when an item is only modified. I'm going to insert here the trigger parameters. I'm going to insert this site, subscribe to my channel. And also I'm going to insert here TV new list. And I want to trigger that flow again, just when I modify an item to do it. The first thing that I want you to understand is how to deal with conditions on Power Automate Cloud. How to check if something is true or false. So for that, I'm going to insert here a compose. A compose is something that I always tell to my students, the first thing that you need to learn on Power Automate. With the compose, I can print values and see what I am dealing with. If you don't understand nothing about Power Automate, and don't understand anything about JSON, Compose is something that you need to use because it's so much simpler to understand the data that we are dealing with. For example, I'm going to insert here dynamically the column created. The column created, for example, is a column with the date of the creation, right? I always going to have the created date on my SharePoint list is a default column. Also, I have the modified date. The last modified, modified date. With these two dates, we can check with a condition if this date is equal to that one. Think with me. One way of knowing if the item was created or modified is checking if this two dates is the same date. So let's make it more clear for you. I'm going to create a new item here with the 90, 90-ish, a name Ronan, the fruit going to be banana, save. And we check the run here. We're going to see that and in that compose, we can see that the creation date and the modify date is the same one. We can conclude then when these two dates is the same, the item is being created and not modified. This is not the only way of knowing if the item was created or modified. If you watched our last video of Power Automate, we also have here the version history, where we can check if the version number is 1.0, right? So one other way is checking if the value of version number is one. If it's one, we can conclude that this is an item that was just created and not modified. I know all of that is pretty basically, right? So let's move forward. Let's take one step forward. How can I check? How can I have a true or false condition on Power Automate? The first condition that we're going to use here with a compose again, because we are learning, we need to see what we are dealing with. It's going to, 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 to be condition check if created is equals modified. So is the R first condition. Let's write here with an expression. For that, we can use the equals where we check if the first value is equals the second one. So I can insert here is created equals modified and that expression will return a true or false, right? A boolean. So this is our first condition that we can use for this trigger condition that we're going to create. But we can also have other condition here, like I said before, with the version number. The second condition could be condition 
check if version number is 1.0. And we're going to use again the following statement. Int, I'm going to cast the version to a integer number so I can check if this value is equals 1. That's why I'm using the integer. I'm converting that to a number. And I'm going to add here. Okay. This both conditions should be true in that execution, right? Because the last item was created and not modified. The first condition is true. So if it's true, we know that this item is created. Let's check the second one. True again. So we know this item is created. We can use the condition here. I know that. I know that you can think about it. I can use the condition here and insert. If this condition equals true, right? Or that condition. So, for example, if this condition or that condition equals true, that means the item is created. So, the question here is, the item was just created. The answer, if, if true, going to be here, if false, going to be here. But every time an item is created, we're going to expand one flow execution, right? So if I insert here, for example, a terminate and end my flow here with success, it doesn't matter. Every time I create an item, this flow is going to be triggered and I will have a trigger that starts a flow and ends here. And also, I will have the same flow expanding my runs, right? Expanding my runs and not just that, I will have that on my history, right? So in your execution history here, we are always going to have all the items created. So that's not good for us. We can create a, condition, a trigger condition. Now that we understand how to create the condition, like you saw here, we can use that condition or that one or any other condition that you prefer to your case. You can go directly to our trigger, select it and on the settings, you, you will going to have the trigger conditions. There is the magic where you can insert a trigger condition. So if this condition is false, it won't execute, right? So you need to have a trigger condition that should be true. So in this case, I'm, I want the opposite of that. I want to use the not equals. I do not want to be equal. So not equals created with modified. Or the same here. I don't want to execute that on the version number is equals one. So not equals one. Right? This is the right condition that we want. And this condition now is the item was modified and not created just to you to understand i'm just showing step by step so you can learn about expressions right i can go directly to the point and you can copy and use it but are you understanding what i'm telling here now that we have the right expression that we want we can test it again just to make sure with the last trigger that was an item that was created we, we're going to see here the raw output is false. So, perfect. When an item is created, we're going to have a false value. So, if it's false, the trigger won't start. Let's test changing an item and see if the value is going to change to true. That's supposed to happen, right? So, let's change here the banana to orange. The item was modified. The item was not created. The item was just modified. If we check here, this compose, we're going to see version number is two. So we can check if it's created or not. And also these two dates and, and times are different. So if you see this condition, we're going to have a true value and also a true value here. So yes, created is, is not equals modified 
and version number is not one. With this condition ready, with this condition ready, we know that we just want to run the flow when that is equals equals true. When you have that condition, you can insert this exactly condition on your trigger. You can copy and go to settings, go to trigger conditions. Here is where the magic happens. You're going to insert exactly the same expression. You just need to remove the braces, the curly brackets here, like that. You, you should keep the at at the start of the sentence. So it's at and your sentence without the braces. Now that we have this condition right here, we can uh, delete all these stats right here. We don't need that then anymore. And now you can check if it's working. So if I create an item here, test banana safe, I know that this flow right here won't be executed. And that's because we have a trigger condition. So with the trigger condition, we can make sure that just run the flow when this trigger have a true value. If I edit, I change and modify this item right here that I just created, banana to orange. And if I go to the execution history right here and start clicking on the refresh, we're going to have this execution that show us the version number two and the date of creation, the modified is not equals. So it can be used in a lot of cases, right? If you want to start a flow just when a column has a certain value. So I just want to start that flow when fruit have the apple value, you can use the condition. Is fruit equals apple? Then we always execute just for that sentence. So my tip for you is to always go here, insert the compose, create your own condition, make sure this condition is working, right? Is exactly like you want. Then you can copy it and paste here on your trigger condition, keeping that and removing the brace char. Okay? I know that this video could be a one minute video, right? But I try to pass on my knowledge. I, I really want you to understand every step that I made in this video. I use it equals, I use it not, I use condition, I use compose, a lot of little stuff that can help you in your development. If you like it, this video, please share your feedback here. Did you like it the way I teach it or I should just go directly to the answer and don't teach anything more? I really want to know. And if you comment down below, uh, also comment the word banana so you know that you watch this video to the end it's a way of knowing who watched the video to the end consider to share so we can grow up this channel hit the thumbs up button and we see you in another video in another class and please subscribe